Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Classic and our Season of Mastery playthrough. Today we are back in Fellwood. I did the quest where we had to go down south of Ratchet and speak with a shaman. Did that, flew back, turned in the follow-up. So now this is what we are working with. I think I'm going to go speak to Nafian today, travel north along the main road, and speak to the Furbolg named Nafian. Uh, which... He stands guard outside the entrance to Timbermaw Hold. Which... Huh, maybe I don't really know where that is. I thought it was all the way to the north, but apparently this leads through maybe an enemy village. Let's go up here and have a look. Well, it does mark this as Timbermall Hold, but on the map it shows it as Felpaw Village. That's a little bit weird. Maybe Felpaw Village is a specific area down here to our left. Well, here's Nafian, that's good. Ah, I have heard the word on the wind about those not of our tribe who seek to ally themselves with the Timbermall Furbolgs. I welcome you, but you must be warned that my tribe reacts poorly to strangers. These are trying times. We can only trust those who choose to fight the corruption of the land alongside us. Deadwood of the North. There is a camp of Deadwood Furbolgs directly to our southwest. Corruption permeates the camp, and I wish to put an end to it before they become a problem. The Deadwood tribe is evil, but it is the effects of the Fell that pollutes their minds. Their hostility is not truly an innate quality, yet they cannot be helped. It saddens me that we must fight our own brethren. I ask you to do what must be done. Go <laughs> what must be done. And guys, we know what must be done. Just all out murder of whoever they point us at. Fell Paul Village. I guess we'll just jump down. Seems fine. And then I guess we should eat. We can make exactly four heavy rune cloth, or we could be economical. And I think we'll actually go with the eight regular rune cloth. So let's do that. It's not going to be as much of a help, but it'll still help between pulls. It won't be as useful for our little intimidating shout bandage trick, uh, because we are not going to get as much health per tick. But it'll it'll help us out between fights. Okay, let's uh, let's start over here, shall we? Oh, 55. Yikes. Gonna have to be a little bit careful here. Apparently Timbermaw Hold gets its own little section of the quest log, which is not really that common. Usually sections of the quest log are only named after full zones or after dungeons, which makes me wonder maybe if they had initially more plans for Timbermaw Hold. It does kind of have the sound of a dungeon to it when you when you say it. Timbermaw Hold. Hmm. Interesting. Den Watchers, Avengers, and Shaman, which I'm assuming is like the only stuff we're going to find in this area.
Well, here's hoping that these shaman can't heal themselves. And if they do prove to have that ability, we'll have to be quick with our mortal strike and make sure that we either always have the debuff up or always have rage to fire one off if needed. Are we getting, like, quest items? These may be gathered for Timbermall Furbolgs to earn their trust. So, this is some kind of reputation grind item. I'm not too familiar with what factions you actually need rep at for endgame. But that's probably something I'm going to have to look into. I'm not a huge fan of grinding rep. <laughs> it's, not my, it's not my favorite thing in the world. Like, I doubt it is anybody's favorite thing. Although I shouldn't say that because it probably is somebody's favorite thing just to go run circles and kill enemies to get reputation, grab items and stuff. It probably wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Uh, what do we got here? A troll and a gnome mage. Level 60, though. So, probably just back here doing AoE pulls for rep, I guess? I love their little houses. It, it's too bad that you can't actually go inside of them. It's like the only time the artist in this game ever get to design a door is when it's leading to a building that you can't go inside of. <laughs> because none of the actual buildings you use have doors. It's really weird. Yeah, this is a fairly farmed out area for 9.45 on a Tuesday morning. <laughs> Just saying. It's obviously some kind of endgame grind. Doesn't that just sound so much fun, an endgame grind? Mm. We do have server maintenance in 15 minutes apparently, so... We will be taking a little break then, I guess. I really wish they could do their server maintenance at a time where less people play. Like, maybe you do it between 3 and 4 in the morning. I get that probably like an employee or somebody has to be like, conscious. But I feel like you have people all over the place, you could probably have somebody push this thing through. These guys need to start dropping more rune cloth. That's what needs to happen. Well, I was going to go for that shaman, but I guess we'll just stick with the one that we body pulled. That would be smart. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, that's really unfortunate. I didn't think I touched any of those guys. Not really sure why I would have got threats. But apparently we did get threats. What's going on over here exactly? Hunter's pet's about to go down. Is he going to be able to handle those guys, or are they going to come hunting for us? Chances are they're going to come hunting for us, so let's go ahead and put ourselves all the way over here, and maybe they will chain. There we go. Yeah, we need to get some Den Watchers. We've been having a really hard time finding any. Oh, we didn't get this one either. It's so good. I'm so happy that we have level 60s out here just pulling everything. Here, do something useful, level 60, and pull this camp. Yeah, I, as you guys can tell, I really don't like it when the enemies that I need for a level 55 quest are the same enemies that a level 60 player needs for some kind of endgame grind. I think that needs to be different. I think that the people questing need to be able to fight the mobs they need to quest because they already have to share that amongst themselves. And then the people at level 60 should be looking at different mobs for their endgame grinds. You know, we all know there are enough enemies in the World of Warcraft and, you know, at this point, if there aren't enough, we could, we could add more because we can make changes now. We can change things for the better. Well, I, I don't think our food is going to last through both of these kill quests. I was hoping that we could knock both of them out at the same time, essentially. I'll head down here and, and do that too, but yeah, I think we're going to have to find a vendor. Somebody who sells some kind of food, unless we're getting a lot of rune cloth and I haven't noticed it. Well, we're getting a decent amount of rune cloth. I just haven't really been paying attention, I guess. Let's try to go across to the other side of the lake here. Well, that's all the shaman that we need. It would be really great if we could figure out where all the Pathfinders were at. More Shaman back here. Let's mount up. Oh, 
You're a den watcher. Oh, it's the den watchers we need, not pathfinders. I don't know why I... I don't know what I was thinking about pathfinders for. Probably another type of furbolg we've seen at some point. The Den Watchers like to hang out in groups, it seems. That might be a little hard to deal with if we can't find them on their own. I see a couple over here, but I, who knows if we're going to get there before other players do. That's the real trick at this point. lot of missing going on a lot of missing and it's probably gonna cost us big time here let's let's do retaliation and maybe we get to survive this uh, yeah we need to actually get hits missing is not gonna help we've gotten really lucky that none of the enemies here in Fellwood like to run away If these guys were runners, we would probably be dead by now, maybe multiple times. Yeah, those bandages just aren't the greatest, are they? They really are not. Well, that's the other den watcher. Let's head down here. I do see another one. Well, we only need one more Den Watcher. Can we get this quest completed before the reset? That, I don't know. Uh, it depends on whether or not they spawn a Den Watcher somewhere easy for us to go ahead and grab. Which doesn't look like it's going to happen. Oh good, we got dismounted now. Uh, yeah, I think that definitely cinches that in the no category, getting dismounted by this guy. Once we're fighting something that's at level with us, the combats take a little while. Yeah, see, there's a shaman. There's a den watcher here, but I feel like he's... Well, he's about to get killed. But aside from that, uh, yeah, we probably could have taken him. 
Uh, but as it is, we're never going to finish this guy. There we go. Yep, see, there goes our Den Watcher. We got another one up over here. We might get him down before the timer goes off, but... I doubt we're going to get back up there to turn the quest in. If we're lucky, we don't lose our progress on this. For some reason, I thought I had read today that the the server maintenance was 9 Pacific time. Which would have been 12 my time. But I, I guess I must have misread it. Uh, can we get back up the side here? No, it looks like we actually have to go all the way around, which is a huge pain. Usually they build little ways you can get up the sides. But not this time. We might get this turned in. What do we got, about 20 seconds left? It could happen. It could happen and it, we might get level 55. Uh, I don't think I want either of these. Hey, there we go. Alright, we'll take these and we'll take a look at them. Or we'll take that one and take a look at it after resets. I feel like the servers are just about to go off. And then, yeah, we still have this other kill quest we can go do. And, yeah, there we go. We will come back after the servers are back up. Alright, we are back after reset, and we now have two quests that, whenever we want, will take us into Winterspring. Obviously, we're going to do everything we can do here first before we consider that as an option. We have a ways to go. Let's head over to the Jade Fire Run. I think that's where we're going to find the enemies we need for the quest further corruption and then we also have to head back down to the emerald sanctuary all the way at the southern end of the zone to turn in the completed quest that we have i think this one once we complete this kill quest i believe that will turn in at the emerald sanctuary as well And since we did hit level 55, well, we have two talents to spend because I'm so good at spending talent points that I have talent points from level 54 that I didn't spend. Uh, where were we going? We were going into, I guess we're just going to take the last two points and improve Battle Shout and be done with it. There we go. Uh, after that... Gives you a 5% bonus for 12 seconds up to 12 swings after being the victim of a critical strike. I don't really ever want to be the victim of a critical strike. Uh, so it sucks to take a talent that requires for you to take a big hit in order to benefit from it. Maybe we could grab some improved cleave. The thing about Cleave, and the biggest reason I don't use it, is because it only hits one additional enemy, right? To the target and the nearest ally. Yeah. If it hit the target and two nearby allies, then it would probably be worth it. But I don't know, it's something for us to consider. It could allow us to handle more two pulls. It could be something that helps us. But really only in the situation where we're purposefully trying to pull multiple enemies at a time. Or when we're tanking, it could help with our tank build. But I really don't know how many more dungeons I'm going to run until level 60. A lot of the dungeons we can run right now, like if I look at the things we have access to. 
We could do Black Rock Depths, Lower Black Rock Spire, or Dire Mall East. Whenever I see people looking for groups, they're always level 60 when they're looking for those dungeons, so... I feel like it's probably just going to be better at this point to focus on getting to level 60. Once we're level 60, we're going to respec into protection. And that's, that's going to be our spec. But yeah, for right now, I'm kind of thinking that I avoid dungeons until we hit 60. We'll see how that goes. If you guys have any recommendations, I would love to hear from you. Uh, I'm not familiar with, with Black Rock Spire, Black Rock Depths. I'm not familiar with any of the endgame stuff. So I really don't know when it's safe to start running it. Or not necessarily safe, because sometimes you could run a dungeon. But the thought process in the community is that you shouldn't be running it until a certain level. I don't want to be the tank looking for Black Rock Depths when, like, everybody else knows the tank needs to be 60 and I'm the guy sitting there looking for a group at level 55. That's what I don't want, uh, to be sit there, sit there, sitting there wondering why am I not getting groups uh, when the answer is obvious to everybody else. This looks like it's going to be the right place, but again, we have level 60 players here just basically killing everything that we could conceivably need. So, yeah, why why not? And, like, I could probably convince somebody like this warlock to invite me to their group, but... I really don't want a level 60 running around killing stuff for me. That's kind of a problem for me. Let's do some herbalism, since every single enemy here is dead. Herbalism is actually at 294 out of 300, going to be maxed out on that pretty soon. Alchemy needs help. Alchemy is probably going to need the kind of help that the auction house provides. Yeah. Probably, which is fine. I don't have much else that I really want to spend my gold on. There's probably some gear I could get off the auction house, like craftable stuff that's best in slot or close to best in slot. But I don't have that kind of gold. <laughs> I feel like the asking price for some of those pieces is probably going to be astronomical. Like, I know there's a helmet from blacksmithing that is pre-raid best in slot. But I have to imagine that it's quite expensive. Uh, see, this is a problem because uh, we're not finding any enemies. <laughs> it's a huge problem. When you have a kill quest and you can't find any guys that are alive to kill, that's that's a deal breaker. Oh great, just into the green ooze, no problem. It's probably really healthy. It does wonders for our complexion, I'm sure of it. Alright, well, we could try to go back in over here, and I guess at this point we're just going to be sitting around waiting for respawns and just tagging whatever we can. There's a note that the ambient track hits, or maybe it's the music track that sounds like a train blaring its horn in the distance. And like, every so often I'm sitting here thinking to myself, wait, I don't live near trains. And then I realize that it's part of the music track. Oh, I wish this mage would get out of here. Oh wait, you're 52. <laughs> wait, wait, you might actually be on the quest. You might actually be on a quest that we need. Can we invite you? <laughs> Please accept our invite. Yeah, we're just running behind you here. Are you killing these guys? Yeah, we have level 60 competition. Yeah, this is rough. I see a guy back here.
Yeah, this is this is depressing. When you're when you're trying to get the level 60 and other level 60 players by their own efforts for their game are directly hindering you. <laughs> like literally just stopping you from completing your quest. That's not good. Yeah, we need to actually tag like a few more of these guys. Like you can handle that one, right? Because, yeah, I'm kind of, this rogue is going to go in here and literally pull everything, I bet. Yep, there they go. I don't often hope for players to get defeated, but I, I really can't explain how fundamentally annoyed I am at the entire concept of having to compete for enemies with being level 60. Great, now we've got this thing, and we've got aggro on it, and wait, well, that's the level, yeah, that's the level 60 warlock that's running around doing the same thing the rogue is. I need to chill out. <laughs> I'm letting this aggravate me way too much. The problem is, like, while we're questing, we only need a certain amount, but if you're level 60 and you're farming these guys, I don't know, I feel like the number that you want is somewhere approaching infinity. So it's not like you're gonna be here for a little bit and leave. Like, if you're level 60 and you're farming these guys, you're doing it for a reason, and you're probably, that's probably just what you're doing today. Well, that was a little bit too close. Alright, well we got 8 out of 8 betrayers. Now we need hell callers and tricksters. Uh, you are a betrayer. We don't need you. Uh, where do we look? I guess we can go into the back here, see if there are any respawns. Nope, that's a big negative. Alright, uh, well we got a betrayer over here. Here is a trickster. Oh, we would have charged, but we were in the wrong stance.
we're gonna go ahead and use the diamond flask since we are a little bit low on health here. I feel like I just don't want to stand in that, so we're gonna back it out. And since we hit level 55, I realize that means we can now get the better level of food. And we're going to do that as soon as we can get to a vendor, which who knows when that will be. If I go in on these two, am I going to pull the Betrayer? Probably. If we do, we'll blow Retaliation. Did the guy he was fighting just reset? Is that what happened? That's a little weird, isn't it? We should probably get a little bit of health back before we engage all the rest of these guys, like, you know, this guy right here. One more trickster to go. Uh, let's see. Hellcaller. Hellcaller. There's a trickster back this way. But I wonder if we... If we wouldn't be able to find one somewhere else. Let's just see who he pulls with him. Do, do, do. Just the two. Okay, the one is going to cast at us from way back there. Maybe the caster will take that one out. Uh, maybe he won't. I hope he does. And yeah, that is that. We need... Oh, we need Zaverick. Yeah, why didn't I see that before? No idea where Zaverick's at. 
Haven't seen a Zavarik. This guy is content to just keep fighting guys, but uh, I don't really have a lot of interest in that. Okay, well, we can have a run around and see if we can find him. If he's not back here, I really don't know where he would be. But we are quite surrounded by guys, so... I'm just gonna try to get out of this little area. And we can investigate somewhere else. Oh good, we've been, we've been dismounted! Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, let's... Oh, we can't use that for seven seconds. Okay, um, well, we still don't know where Zabarik is. North and east? Why the hell are we looking north and east? Head to, okay, head to the north, okay. Well, I mean, that's where we're at. Uh, well. I'm kind of, like, tired of running around this area, so I, I might just look up where this guy's spawn point is. As a matter of fact, that's, that's exactly what I'm going to do. All right, well, uh, we're pretty close, apparently. We are pretty He was right back here. So literally, if I had looked four more feet in this direction, uh, I could have found him without looking it up, but it it's fine. When they're respawning this fast and we don't need any more for the kill quest, I I'm fine with just finding out where he's at for sure and... Heading that way, we're apparently going to be dealing with this by ourselves, so that's fine with me. If he cares, I, I don't even know for sure if he's working on this quest. But I figured I would throw it out there. Let's go ahead and we'll switch back to our heavy rune cloth. I kind of want to pull this guy, like, on his own. Because I don't want to pull all three of them. Okay, that actually worked out. Alright, well, Zavarik is not an elite. Seems like a good time to use the Diamond Flask. And hey, there we go. There's the Flute of Zavarik. This is going to begin a quest. Bring the Flute and five Jade Fire Fellbind samples. So wait, are you telling me I need to kill more of these guys? Is that what you're telling me? Flute of Zavarik. The knotted wood feels solid, but it seems as if the spirals and patterns in the surface begin to spin and move as you turn it over in your hand. Suddenly you feel a sense of dread. 
It's possible the other satyrs carry clues. Yeah, man, I don't want to fight any more satyrs, but I guess we're doing it. Yeah, he took the quest from the item, so uh, I'm assuming he's also going to stick around here and just fight infinitely more Sator. At least now it doesn't matter what kind we fight. That's the silver lining. I hope these items are dropping for him, because after we got that first one, we have not had any more luck in getting this item to drop. Well, there's two. We only need to kill, what, maybe 30 more and we'll get the rest? That math seems right to me.
And that is the last of the food that we brought with us. I think we have one chicken. And that looks like it's it. Yeah, I don't really want to take on the three pack. We don't really have a need to do that. Um, seems like it's just risk without reward. I'm gonna go with retaliation here and sweeping strikes and we are gonna hope for the best. Yeah, I'd say that worked pretty well. All right, four out of five. We'll eat our last piece of level 45 food. Let's double check our bags. Uh, we have some potions we could have been using, but I don't know how much they actually help. Can't hurt though. It's a little late now. To be fair.
a little bit too close, but hey, we did it. Well, our buddy got his last one, but we sure didn't. The other problem is that we are really low on health, we don't have anything to eat, and we have this bandage timer to deal with. So hopefully one or two more kills, and we'll get this, and we'll be done. And maybe we won't have to kill satyrs again for a little while. Maybe we'll have met our satyr quota. A bandage would be smart. Let's have some health when we get into combat. Oh, that's good. Definitely not what I had in mind. Seriously? <laughs> like, can we please get the last item now? That would be great. Oh, we got it! <laughs> I need to pay attention. You can tell that I'm basically emotionally done with this quest. I was, I was done with this quest when we got here and level 60s were farming them. So, no big surprise that I'm certainly done with it now. See you. Okay, yep, see you later, man. Appreciate the helping hand. It would have been a lot more arduous without our buddy's help, so big thanks to him. Alright, with that done, uh, let's take a look here because I don't know who these people are. In southern Felwood, okay. Iridan Blue Wind. I, I don't know who you are. Let me make sure I know where you're at. I don't want to run all the way to the south and then find out this guy's at the northern outpost. Yeah, he's in the south too. And I think I think they're all going to be in the south. Let's let's go have a look. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting how long of a run this actually is. Uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do an edit here. I'm gonna cut out some of this travel for you guys. So this is turning in the quest where we went down into south of Ratchet and found the shaman, and we got the purified moonwell water. This should be more than enough water for our purposes. I'm glad to hear that Ilsen was able to help us. Her strength with the water spirits has always been a strong one. 
She is also wise, and rare is it that the spirits do not agree with her purpose. The fact that both of them have blessed our task gives me hope that we are on the right path. Now you must return to Jadenar. The braziers are more than likely spread throughout Shadowhold. Douse each of their flames and protections, and the protections the council has set up will fall or at least for at least a short period of time. I will be waiting for that to happen. When it does, I will look deep within the hold and try to find who the head of this beast is. Then, and only then, will we see about attacking them directly. Using the purified moon well, water douse the flames of the four braziers of, of protection within Shadow Hold in Felwood. Okay, so we're going back down into the interior area in, in Jadenar, which is not a big deal. It's pretty close by. Relatively close. There's so many areas that we haven't been to yet. The Iron Tree Woods, Blood, Ven Blood Venom Falls, there's slimes and trents and all kinds of stuff that we have not been asked to fight yet. Kind of hoping we'll get sent into some of those areas. Uh, some cloth bracers we don't need. The flute you found was carved from an ancient protector, the treant allies that have faithfully protected the Night Elves. Satyrs have been able to corrupt anything they come in contact with, which includes the ancients that made the Felwood their home. By the use of the Fel, the spirit of the ancient has been bound and tortured, never completely released. The Fel bind you found is no doubt related. We must try to purify the loot. Bring me blessed water from the Temple of the Moon in Darnassus. Travel to Darnassus and use Iridan's Vial to collect a vial of blessed water from the Temple of the Moon. Yeah, a little bit of running around. I can definitely take care of that. It'll give me an excuse to get to a city. We need to get some water. I need to make maybe a stop at the auction house for some rune cloth. And I think I need to visit the alchemy trainer and get some sun grass. Start leveling our alchemy up here. But yeah, to do that, I'm going to have to run. I forgot that there's there's not a flight path here. What's the run like down to the south? The question is, is my run to Astronar going to be shorter, or is my run to the north going to be shorter? It's probably going to be the run to the north, so I am going to take care of that. I will leave you guys here, so the next time we come back, we're going to be back here in the Felwood. We're going to go into the Jadenar Shadowhold. And we're going to douse the fires and see where that chain takes us. And of course, we'll follow up on wherever this breadcrumb takes us. We'll go get the vial of Moonwell water from uh, Darnassus. And we will go from there. Let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear from you. And as always, thank you so much for being here with me today and choosing to spend your time with me in Azeroth. It does mean the world to me. So take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again sometime soon. Bye now.